This is Mojo, a.k.a. Black Magic. I need to know, first of all, yeah. where Mojo and Black Magic come from. Well, Mojo is like, it's like my names, like Mark. And then I like mixed up with my father's name just because uh, I felt like I needed, I, needed, I needed something inspiring in it. Mm-hmm. So I wanted it to be a bit personal. Mm-hmm. So Mark is my real name, and then Ogola is my father's name. Then Jordan is my name, and then Ogutu is his last name. So Mojo. Oh, everything oh. just came up so yeah, perfectly. Straight up, straight up, straight it's straight like up. you know when I try and think of like words, or maybe someone's like, okay, come up with a with a word for your new show. I'm like, yeah. T.W. <laughs> Tracy. Yeah. Tracy. How yeah. about just yeah. Tracy? <laughs> right. You know, it's just like okay, where did you get the Mojo? <laughs> However. Um, Thank you so much for coming in studio. And I can see you have dreads. <laughs> yeah. Why the dreads? Well, dreads, well, um, it's just because uh, I, I also work as a, as a nurse in Sweden. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, hey, what? You said, oh, no, I'm not feeling too much. Nurse? <laughs> night nurse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I got a song by Night Nurse as well. So. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I wanted something like, you know, to just stand out. You know, when I go outside, I just don't look like a doctor all the time. So the dreads is just kind of, you know, you know, and I, in Mombasa, a lot of people just have dreads. So I grew up looking up just at people having dreads around me. And I felt like, you know, this is kind of something that mm. I should have an image that can remind me of exactly where I come from. Right. So I don't forget that. Mm-hmm. So, yo, at least uh, when I walk in the street, I can get this positive and negative look at people. And it charges me up and reminds me who I am. Yeah. So, dreads are pretty much of just... And, you know, still on dreads, mm-hmm. um, Babs and I, who I have just learned is called Christian. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> um, so... He, we were talking about stereotypes, um, common stereotypes of people who have dreads. Mm-hmm. So, which one is the weirdest one that you've heard? Well, uh, I don't know. I, I think I think I'll probably get in trouble if I say this. No, it's okay. No, just go, go ahead. ahead. Just go oh, ahead. I mean, the most stereotype was just you know lesbian dreadlock. You know, I mean, just <laughs> the most stereotype ever I've ever come across. Lesbian? And you, yeah, it's just a weird <laughs> thing. I mean, what? I mean, yeah, I mean, I chicks they'd be like, I can see, be like, I know yo, what you look mean. so good. Yeah, I you look so good. Saying. Girl, I mean, like come on. I mean, type of I, mean, thing. I mean, she'd be like, no, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I, mean, I'm, I, was, no. I thought pothead. Because okay. uh, I was assuming you'd say you're a pothead. Or well, now it's yeah. all over. Yeah. It's you all know, over. It's all like over the, the usual place. stereotype. Well, yeah. Oh, I have my God. I'm trying to go out and see a lot of like, African girls out here with nice dress. Wow. There's another stereotype that I want to ask you about that has to do with dreadlocks as well. Is it true that white women love black men with dreadlocks? That I don't know, but I think yeah, because because every time I'm in coast coast, and I'm walking on the beach, I'm just like I know that's a different type of love, but (laughs) I'm just like you always see white women (laughs) with black men with dreadlocks. I'm like, what is it? I think it's just kind of surprises them, honestly. It's just it's just something interesting about about Africans, because like you know we we're not really like uh, I I'll be honest with you, like you look around, like a lot of black men don't want to have hair around them. They they prefer having shorter hair. Mm -hmm. So when you when you have long hair, you kind of stand out you become a bit interesting you know you you're kind of you know you're a bit weird and people you know women are into weird stuff now I mean, seeing as we're talking about women i need to know oh my god what is happening we're going to talk about music jesus okay seeing as we're on this topic anyway of women are you single hey, the way he's drunk that's what uh, he's just like <laughs> night nurse, night <laughs> nurse. Let's, let's delay let's delay yep, the answering yep, of this yep, question yeah, you I'm are single, single. Yeah, so single. now you are single you are yeah, night serious. nurse you live in jo, sweden if you no. are looking for uh, jo, <laughs> wait, have you had jo? Ati, are you serious jo, do you want to hook up with our dreaded lesbian <laughs> look i am trying i am trying to help a guy out we are literally like the mobile tinder look so we have a night nurse who makes great music is single lives in sweden if you want to move abroad and of course is now running <laughs> v- <laughs> so, yo, that Wow. Visa, Throw man. that in there. You have to help a girl out. And of course, I need to know about Black Magic well, Records. Yeah, yeah. Now, what does Black Magic mean? Because you spell it B L K M G K and Black Magic Records. What's that about? It's just the way it is, like the way it sounds too. Black Magic, as in like the black pretty much represents uh, like the hardship, the the hard work that people don't see every day. Mm-hmm. You know, you meet people outside, like uh, especially just. 
um, the people <laughs> that I inspire that come up to me and tell me like, you know, Black Magic, you know, you should be out there representing us. Like, you know, you came from the coast or something. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I meet I meet these black kids in, in Sweden or whatever kind of place I am in Europe. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, you know, you produce or something. You should do something about this, you know, take it to the next level mm -hmm. and representing us there. So I feel like the Black Magic is for those unheard voices mm -hmm. okay. so that's that's the black is you know black is just always misunderstood okay and then the magic is the magic side of that unwanted or always you know just put aside kind of thing and always when at the end of the day those are geniuses you know the, yeah. the people that you put at the bench all the time so i feel like black I'm magic records will be just bring I'm out people i'm out so there. happy with i'm just that yeah because juju no yeah because <laughs> um, that's, that's exactly <laughs> what i was going to say because i'm sure we had a bunch of listeners who were thinking that black magic yeah. records is a powerhouse yeah. for chawi <laughs> now they know it's <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> and you have dreads <laughs> as in you're just you were just not helping <laughs> we're trying to explain this but thank you so much for getting that through okay. and i want to know what are your handles on twitter facebook and instagram so people can reach you maybe they can find how they can collab with you well, as you're back Valerian, when you want to tell him? That is my section. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. His Twitter and Instagram handles are at Mojo Black Magic. As one word, as pronounced. Mojo Black Magic. And the Black Magic is spelled as B-L-K-M-G-K. No, no. Yeah. Uh, for the handles, mm -hmm. just normal spelling. Black, okay. Black, Black Magic. Oh, yeah, well, wow, okay. Spelling. But for his email account, if you'd like to book him, talk to him, you know, get some advice from him, anything. Mm -hmm. B-L-K-M-G-K. O three O three at okay. We'll post that on our own social media. Don't forget that's hashtag H and H nine eight four. Hits not homework, and you can always find out what we're talking about behind the scenes on the Capital FM Kenya page. That's also on YouTube. Capital FM Kenya. By the way, and I want to know what advice would you give someone entering the entertainment and music industry? Just don't give up, and uh, it's hard. It's meant to be hard, man. If it's easy, man. Everybody will be. It doing don't make it. sense. It mm -hmm. doesn't make sense, and um, I don't think I don't think you need a lot of help from people. Mm -hmm. Just understand that. Like the more help you get, the harder it becomes to to create yourself. Create yourself. It's about just building yourself. It's all about lessons. You're gonna you're gonna get hard. You're gonna get really squeezed in. All I can tell you is focus focus on the reason why you're doing it, mm -hmm. and uh, at least find someone who understands your sound and what you're trying to put out there. And that's it. And to producers, if you're a producer, man, like give artists a chance, man, and at least, you know, change. It's, you're not always right. Sometimes the artist is right, mm -hmm. you know. So that's all, man. Find chemistry.